is cleared out. Blues go back. Big hit on Finley. I mean, he gets cracked major league by Lindsay. Salvador goes after him. Low is looking. And what a hit on Finley by Bill Lindsay. Now Randy McKay wants to be involved in anything that might happen. The Blues not very happy with that hit. It looked like a decent hit, and Finley looks like he has been really rocked. He may have taken an elbow. No penalty on the play. Well, if Finley isn't going to end up with a concussion or at least a head headache over this. And I don't know what else. Billy Lindsay absolutely elbow spinner right in the face. And you want to talk about getting hit hard? Gets the arm up, jumps up a little bit. Finner in a susceptible position, but certainly knows full well that he got caught a little bit of a head down. And there, right there, folks, is exactly where the rule of not being able to interfere in the in the neutral zone comes in, comes into play. Because as a forward, you want to hold that guy up. You do that right now in the game today's day and age, and we right off to the penalty box. Bill McCreary and Scott Zelf. In front, batted away. Here's Salvador whacking the puck off the far boards to Martin Ruchinski. Now to Dimitra. The pass. They score! Eric Bolganicki right in the crease. He seems to deflect it by Theodore for his fifth goal of the season. And the Blues tie it at one. Well, this Bolganicki kid is staying hot, Ken. Fifth goal of the season for him. But the guy's making the play. It's that ever ending talent of Pavel Dimitra and Marty Ruchinski. Dimitra just handling the puck, goes in, gets an opportunity. Ruchinski picks up the rebound. The puck ends up over to the side on Salvador's pass, and Ruchinski goes right through the middle of the ice to Dimitra, who makes a tape-to-tape -tape pass and a goal mouth to Bokanicki, and back of the net, all tied up at once. Now the Blues from the feet. The return of Jeff Finley. Travers a pass, and a good one. Lindsay fakes the shot, leaves the puck. McKay a drive. Then a shot knocked away. Brathwaite has the puck covered. He really got hit hard. Brathwaite was out of the crease to cut down the angle, and he got smashed. 4.57, the time of the Koibu tie-breaking goal. Marius Tchaikovsky gets the assist. Well, the puck turned over in the neutral zone. Lindsay comes in. He fakes the shot. The D open up a little bit, and he just drops the puck. Blue end. Ends up sliding right into Freddie Brathwaite, clears him out of the top of the net a little bit, and then Brathwaite has to slide across and make an acrobatic save to keep it from going in on the second rebound. The draw one. The other forward is Zednik, who's hit by Havanoff. Van Ryan up the wing to Mellenby. He can't get the puck out, gets it back. Tries the stick handle, it doesn't work. Zednik, a shot! Brilliant backhand save! Good save on a backhander by Brathwaite. Mellenby got caught handling the puck a little bit too much, and Brathwaite saves the day. Well, Scott Mellenby has the puck along the wall, and there's a guy that's a, a wily veteran that keeps battling and battling. He just thought the center, or pardon me, Rachinsky was going to be just cutting up the wall there, and goes off the skate, ends up being. Caught back in, and Brathwood has to make a big save, and he's there to handle it. Now a shot. You got the first goal with a puck for Montreal. The Blues tied it. Boganicki early in this period, and Koivu got the tiebreaker. Koivu's goal coming at 4.57 here in the second. Juno centers. Oh, man, what a save. Oh, baby. Andreas Dockel, the 29-year-old Swede, Letting one rip, and Freddie Brathway makes an unbelievable save. Wow. Puck, puck bouncing there in Montreal's favor, and a puck comes all the way across on a pass right onto Dackel's tape, and he just one-times it. No questioning how this guy stood up to the test here over the last few games. Great save by Freddie Brathway. Montreal is come Martin Ruchinski. Gets it right back from Dimitra, heads for the net, is in front, knocked out, he scores! Theodore finds out that the changeup can beat you. Martin Ruchinski, unbelievable what this veteran has contributed. In three games, he has three goals. Well, he takes season opening and he takes the puck to the net. There he stumbles, good second effort. Theodore just opens the legs a little bit, thinking there's gonna be a full shot and get full wood on it. Unable to close the gap a little bit, and it just squeaks through the legs and finds a way back of the net. Blue Crew ties it at two. 
Martin Ruchinski with his third goal of the season. Just sees a little bit of opening, takes her to the net, Ken. You don't always have to throw the 98 mile. Just been brilliant passing the puck on the power play since the early games this season. This is only game 11 of the 82 game campaign. Now in front, oh baby, Powell Demetra buries it. And there's exactly what we're talking about. Set up by Mellonby, and the Blues take the lead. Three to two, so Demetra had an assist on the first power play goal, and he scores the second to make it three to two. Well, Scott Mellonby banging his stick a little on the ice, saying, Dougie, give me that puck, give me that puck. Well, Dougie knew exactly where he was. Mellonby just gets that pass down low. He sees Demetra creeping down the back door. No look, tape to tape, back of the net, hello. 3-2 Blues, and Doug Waits got it on a string, but what a great pass by Scott Mellonby. Just four games, three games and four nights and battling away. Now having off back. Travers leaves it dangerously. Boganicki gives the puck to Stillman over to Waite. A shot, what a shot, rebound, they score! Oh, baby, Boganicki, and what a huge goal that is. And what an incredible shot taken originally by Wake. Boganicki, a pair tonight. Give him six. And the Blues lead four to two. Guys in the pits are chuckling. Wow, look at this kid out of nowhere. But it's a great play by Dougie Wake. He knows he took a look over his shoulder just prior to that play. He knows he's got Stillman going to the net. Sure enough, puck pack. Poke check right back out. Boganicki, guy knowing to get in the right areas. Just pounds it to the back of the empty net. And the Blues are up two here in Montreal. Let's do the Canadians. Koivu with two minutes to go has his pass get away. Here's Boganicki who scored two. Nice pass to Wait. He shoots. He scores! Doug Wait! And that's five for you, Taco fans. The Blues have a five to two lead. And that is the 200th goal of Doug Waite's career. Doug Waite has his 200th, and the Blues' five goals beats Tacos on 35 cents tomorrow at Taco Bell restaurants. Well, Bo Kanicki gains the line, and when Montreal gives up the line, we said you can't back in too far. And they, ba they back right in, and Dougie Waite's got a head of steam, and he just walks in, rips his 200th goal of his career. And what a great play by Bo, Bo Kanicki, but Dougie Wade right now is just absolutely flying, folks, and he just gains the line with a head of steam there. Quick wrist shot, bang. Five goals for the Blues again tonight. And when Doug Wade goes back and looks at the videotape of his 200th goal when he's long retired, it'll be forevermore entangled with our friends at Taco Bell. <laughs> Not everyone can say that when they look at a landmark goal. Now we're down to a minute.